Hello friends, welcome to my channel Civil Smart. Today we are going to design a circular slab uh, which is simply supported and uh, we have to find the effective depth first then the load calculation of the circular slab the banding movement calculation in the circular slab like circumferential movement and the radial movement will be calculated by this spreadsheet then the check for the depth that is if we have provided a particular depth in first step it is okay or not next is the radial reinforcement this is the radial reinforcement in perpendicular direction will be calculated and finally the circumferential reinforcement these in the circular direction this is the circumferential reinforcement these red portion right so finally we will design the circular slab which is simply supported now what we have a uh, condition that we have to design a circular slab having an internal layer this is the room for which the circular slab is designed we can have a circular slab in room in dome shell also so this is the internal layer we have to put our input in these pink cells only so let's start internal layer is 5 meter so radius is a is d by 2 2.5 fck we are using m20 m20 and fi is 415 and percentage of steel if we are assuming 0.2 percent generally so for 0.2 percent from this table we have to find the modification factor for 0.2 percent modification factor is 1.68 now you can see that for the circular slab in case of the simply supported one way slab we have the condition l by d is 20 into modification factor right but the for the circular slab in the code is code it is not given right so we as per the experience we are assuming like four third of simply supported slab into modification factor so after this this formula give you a effective depth triple one so if you assume triple one as the effective depth and if you are assuming the dia for the reinforcement in the circular slab is 8 mm and clear cover is 20 mm for this slab so finally overall depth comes out to be 135 right now we have find the overall depth also and effective depth is also found find out now the total load calculation next is next step is the total load calculation so width we assume in general 1000 mm is the width depth overall depth is 135 in meter 0.135 density of rcc is 25 so total self weight is calculated b into d into density 3.375 and what is the live load superimposed load on the circular slab is 3.375 so we have to put 3.375 here and finish load finish load of the above the circular slab if there is a finish load of a particular tile particular you know stone is work is there so one kilonewton per meter is the finish load Finally, unfactored load comes out to be 7.75 and factored load is 1.5 times of this unfactored load. Now we have calculated the load calculation also. Now you can see the banding movement calculation for the radial movement at the center. This is for the radial movement at the center. For this, the reinforcement is like this. And for the circumferential movement, circumferential movement in the circular direction, it will give in the circumferential direction right so mu theta theta at center is formula is 3 by 16 of w a square what is a a is the radius in this case this is diameter internal dia of the room 5 so radius is 2.5 so by this formula radial movement at the center is calculated 13.62 circumferential movement will also be same at the center but the circumferential movement at the edge is different it is reduced due to the hoop stress 9.08 kilonewton meter now check for depth how you check the coefficient is 0 0.138 for fe1415 so d required is calculated 70.26 by this formula so d provided we have provided the depth is 111 so d provided is greater than d required so it is okay now d in other direction like if you placing in the bottom portion is like this and top portion is like this so 111 minus 8 so it is d in other direction effective that now the radial reinforcement 
if you are so AST required is calculated by this formula 398 mm square if you are assuming 8 mm dia so now you can see in radial reinforcement in this perpendicular direction 8 mm 120 mm center to center is calculated right now the circumferential reinforcement at the top this red portion is a circumferential reinforcement so d in other direction now the top reinforcement you are providing circumferential so d in other direction minus again the dia of the assumed dia so 95 mm is the effective depth so ast required at the edge is 282.33 mm square if you again assume 8 mm dia now you can see rules for spacing 3d 300 mm spacing required so 170 mm is the spacing required so in case of the circumferential steel it is to be provided at a particular distance and what is the distance two third of ld ld is the development length ld is the development length so two third of ld and what is ld 47 times of phi if you are using 8 mm so finally 250 mm is the length for which circumferential reinforcement is to be provided right so number of bars length divided by spacing what is spacing 170 m plus 1 is 2.47 numbers so hence total number bars are required is three numbers so three rings are required in case of circumferential reinforcement this, these are the three rings 8 mm at the rate 170 mm center to center right so if you change your internal dia like if you have to design a 6 meter internal dia slab now you can see effective depth has been changed so you have to increase the effective depth if you are assuming 140 mm effective depth now total depth is changed overall load calculation has been changed bending moment calculation has been changed this is ok if you are again assuming 8 mm dia so 100 mm required in the board direction for radial reinforcement and if you are assuming again 8 mm dia now you can see 8 mm dia at 140 mm center center and 3 rings are required fine so friends this is the circular slab simply supported slab we have designed through this spreadsheet if you want this excel sheet please mail me or whatsapp me on whatsapp number thanks for watching